Hi guys, Edmark Designs here again with another tutorial. Uh, this time it's on After Effects with Magic Bullet Lux. I've already imported my uh, my clip into After Effects, which is uh, courtesy of Yorty Slayer. Um, so once you've imported your clip, first thing you want to do is if it's from a HD PVR, you notice that you have little tiny black lines around the edges. Um, for some reason, the, the HD PVR doesn't record every pixel. So to fix this quickly, if we click on the clip once, then press S, you'll have scale. Just change the size to 101%, and that'll get rid of the black border around the edge straight away. Now, we want to add Magic Bullet Lux to just this layer. So come to the Effects panel at the top, and Magic Bullet, and then Lux. This panel will appear on the left. As you can see, nothing has changed on the clip whatsoever. You need to click Edit. That'll open another program outside of After Effects with a clip in it. Now, for this tutorial, we're just going to use the default presets. So if you bring your mouse over to the left-hand side, it'll bring up this full list of defined presets. And you just simply click on the one you want to be added to the, the clip. So you have a look through for which one you want. Um, some of them won't actually affect your clip that much, it depends on um, what colours are in the clip at the time. So for this example I'll just choose the sunset on the bottom. Now as you can see straight away it's, it's applied the colour correction, uh, more contrast, it's diffused the colours a bit. Now perhaps I don't want it to be too orangey, so if I click on the gradient right here, it'll bring up my little colour panel on the bottom right hand corner and I can change that to say more of a blue or more of a green and perhaps it's too strong so I could change where I want the colours to go by simply dragging the little lines to the position where I want the green to appear. So when you've done that you can press OK and now as you can see it's been applied to the clip. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can go back into it and play around with your, your settings, your contrast settings, the diffusion settings. If you think you don't actually like that preset anymore, you can come over and change it. As you can see, it's instantly changes, changes straight away now. I can keep going. And there are some pretty cool presets here, which can save a lot of time from creating your own. Um, if you did want to create your own, you just come over to the right side and there's all the controls. You have your subject controls, your matte controls, lens, lens, camera and post. Now, there's quite a lot to go through with these. So it's probably best to start off with just using a preset. And if you think, right, that's nice but I prefer it to be a different colour, find one which you think will be the colour. So it's post, warm, cool and just simply change the colour to what you prefer. And that's pretty much it. So give it a go with yours, see what you can come up with. If you have any problems, leave a comment below and uh, I'll try and sort it out.